go. Crash and flow. Back Still up. the echo. Hey, Still the echo. I'll get some. Echo. I'm going to get some wallpaper in here and maybe oh, okay. it's going to be the solar it. system or animals. You haven't decided. Oh, you're going to do. Uh, oh, yeah, that's so cool. That's oh, so yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be glow in the dark? You're going to be glow in the dark? Oh, I don't know. I think that might freak everybody out. I might come in here and just start tripping. Yeah, but that's, that's. I found one that's like uh, all different whales, all the different yeah. whales. And it's like, kind perfect. of a calm. I was like, ooh, that's nice. But the solar system is also quite. I think cool. the solar system is is I think the solar system is more Me. also Sharia compl com com oh, com compliant right. as well. Right, we thought right. about that. There's yeah. some with bunnies looking the other way, so you can't see their faces. But it's yeah, it's a silhouette. It's just a yeah. I know you just walk yeah. walking the thing, but this is a you know, you know yeah. Just, uh, trying to make some good decisions. Listen, if I get up there and it's like, hey, in your kid's room, right? Whales. Yeah. I was like, come on, man, that's let it. me just <laughs> have some. Come, like that's just. Yeah, you were celebrating the majesty of his creation, so yeah. you could you could just uh, you can just spin it. Right? Inshallah, man. Can you imagine you <laughs> how good of a spin guy you need to be? Yeah, You'd be there and during your judgment, and he's like, ah, you know what? All right, you, you know, know what? what? <laughs> yeah, get in there. <laughs> yeah. Nothing above five, though. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. One to four is great for me. Jeez. <laughs> uh, my wife just put a bunch of raw meat in the balcony yeah. because we're trying to like make friends with this eagle that lives above our building. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I just like, she just put like five pieces of meat. And I was like, dude, you don't need five pieces of meat, you know? Right. That's Thing interesting. Yeah. You know, I mean, you'd be funny if you just look outside and it's just a homeless dude eating the meat raw. Like, yeah, but like we're, we're on the 23rd floor, man. That'd be very... I know. That's... <laughs> I'm like, dude, that guy. That is a highly motivated... <laughs> did we uh... invite this vampire? I guess we did. <laughs> We can just cook it for you. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so something nice happened. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Shout outs to, uh, to Moes. Right. 100%, dude. Okay. Okay. That food was great. And it's not just I'm hungry, therefore it tastes good. That yeah. food was good. Yo, Chili we're chicken? Call, Bam. Yeah, we're going to call Moes Moes Gardens or Walk and Roll Moes or right. Mo Moes is Walk. Eddie's is hard to turn, but yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what's what's another? Oh, one? yeah, Eddie's walk and roll. Eddie's walk and roll, right? So yeah, Moise's walk else? and roll, right? Um, Lingard, there's one right here, right by uh, the Bamiyan Plaza. What and, the walk and roll? Yeah, there's an Asian hookup place in the D Spot Plaza. There probably is. It's good. Is I forgot else, his yeah? name. Damn it, it's all right. But the, his. It was, I ate it for two days. Uh, my yeah. in-laws ate it. And I was yeah. like, this is, I, it's good. And you spread days. that around. Oh, yeah, it was good. I ate all that. You ate <laughs> all that by yourself? Like, a little bit of rice, three pieces of chicken. The rest of it was just me. I cleaned I it all up. I kept messaging him. I was like, I got him. Like, hey, thank you so much. And I ate it. I was like, hey, amazing. And then I ate it again. I'm like, look, still good. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's what's great with Hakka food. Uh, lasts. Yeah. It's got lasting power in the fridge. Yeah. And this jack off, he's like, hey, you want the recipe? I'm like, no, I just want you to make this every now and then and deliver it. Come on, man. Yo, he didn't He didn't deliver it. I delivered it. Yeah, I know. That was nice of you. It was nice of you because I didn't realize you had messaged me saying you're on the way. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm here. I was like, I'm not there. You got to come here. <laughs> That's how, see, you see how close I live with my in-laws now. That's it's, why it's, it's, no. And, and you see how close you and your in-laws live close to me. I kind of do, but I haven't been to your place. I don't know which building is actually yours. Right. You know the YMCA? Yes. The building right across the YMCA. Oh, okay. I'll, next time I'll eyeball it. Yeah. And what yeah. floor are you on? 19. Oh. But I don't face you. Uh, unfortunately, I face, unfortunately. Uh, I face the same way you face. No, wait. I face, so what do you I face see? south. What do you see uh, on the south side? I see, I, see, uh, I see the lake. Oh, okay. Are they building any monstrosity in front of you? Some 90-story tower? Uh, yeah, but it, it it's kind of on the side, so oh, I'll right. still be able to see the lake. Yeah. yeah, I have a. They're they're gonna build apparently a fifty story tower just right uh, by my small balcony. Right Here's the sick thing: on my long balcony, they're building yeah. uh, a park, so nothing will ah, ever be there. And the park has tennis courts and a baseball field. Yeah, Wait, and it's okay. it's already under I, construction, so it'll be done in a few months. And, and that is great. That's interesting. I love it. I love the tennis court thing. Let me ask you this, mm. okay? Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, if I were to purchase a racket, right, would you be willing to teach me how to play fundamental tennis? Yeah, I'd be great at it. I was I used to coach uh, kids for a lot of money. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You, can, because you ain't getting it, no money. <laughs> I know that's all right. But you know what the thing is, if you're a middle schooler and you're able to pay, like yeah. your family's able to pay, they can pay almost anything. Yeah. <laughs> like they're like, oh yeah, we'll we'll pay a teacher. I'm like, you must be ready to pay anything because yeah. And they like, I got results. I was. Oh, that's uh, good. Yeah. Because I uh, I couldn't make up my mind of whether I wanted to play with my right hand or my left hand. Mm-hmm. So I could teach pretty well. In mm-hmm. like multiple situations, like okay. two-handed backhands, one-handed backhands, and whatnot. You'll enjoy it. It'll be fun. All right, I'm excited because I'm, I just want to. I want to learn another sport. You know. Oh yeah, just, yeah. Uh, like learn how to move the body. Yeah. Fluid. Right? It's a. It's like you know. It's a gentleman's sport. You know. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, I play tennis. Actually, you know, it's, it's nothing to brag about at all. It's just good to know how to play it. But it's not like. Yeah, no, 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 no. But still, I mean, come on. It's 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 fun. You know. It's I, fun. You 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 can poo poo. Uh, like uh, what's the. Um, the racquetball that the old white people play in, in the gym, right? Squash. But then when you play it, yeah, squash. There we go. I love squash. But when you play it, you're like, I'm like, oh, this is not easy. Oh, I love couple squash, rounds, man. Couple squash. rounds in, and I'm like, I'm running into walls, and yeah. Oh, yeah. The stupid part is, oh, you got to warm up the ball. I got, <laughs> I got to warm up. I was already gonna warm. No, you got to warm up the ball too. What else do I have to warm up around here? Let me just stupid. put it between my butt cheeks. Yeah, Does imagine that work? going to play a sport, and now you got to get the sport ready. You're like, <laughs> I this is. Already too much happening. Hmm. But yeah. Since, yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to learn a, a racket sport. A racket sport. Tennis yeah. is a good one. It is yeah. the most popular of the racket sports. Indeed. And badminton, right? But you I know, would say I badminton. Play badminton name without one a net. badminton player. Yeah, that's true. Less so. I, Less so. I can't name any. Probably Asian. Yeah. You can you name a, a few swing? tennis players. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? You're just going to name a random Asian name? <laughs> uh, try it. Mm. Um,. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, I, I was gonna go with I was gonna go with Anth- Anthony Chen. Oh, okay, that's not an Asian guy. That's just a uh, yeah. No, that's, that's definitely an Asian, an Asian guy. guy right? That's right? totally yeah, with a, with a with an American like yeah. an English first name. Yeah, Michael Michael Chang was Nate, a Nate. yeah was actually a tennis. Uh, this guy, I believe, won the French Open when he was fourteen or sixteen amongst uh-huh. men. Never yeah. won again. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah, almost that same. You almost picked his name, Michael Chang. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, almost, almost did it. You you can uh, you can do whatever. It's like uh, Jeremy Lin, you know, catches fire for one season and after that, he was serviceable. I feel he's good. He, you know, he, he was yeah. Like he can he get would, like eleven to seventeen points a game. Yeah, and he could it. hang out in the league. He's not your yeah. starting point guard. You know. Have you seen the disrespectful video after the championship? Yes, yes, I have. It's like <laughs> Jeremy Lin highlights is just him adjusting his armband and bouncing the ball. Woo! Well, you know what? He got a ring, though. Apparently. I mean, shit. <laughs> then he went to China for a while. He'd been trying to get back. Now it's sad. Yeah, and then he came back. And then, uh, you know, people on the court called him corona. coronavirus. That's Holy nice. snikes. That's not nice. And he told you know on him. He was you like, know you know what? what? And you can see, he's like, you know what? I'm going to tell on you. And then he yeah. just walks away. <laughs> he just Everybody's waiting to get a rebound. He's like... I'm gonna tell, and then he walks away. Yeah, I mean, you know. And then you know, he says, "That sounds... guy, that guy, he called me that coronavirus." Called me coronavirus. <laughs> Jeremy, Lin. Jeremy, Lin. Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin. Oh boy, Watanabe is pretty good. Yeah, he's great. I think. Uh, well, I was just about to say the next year, but that's. I feel like that's racist. So uh, Watanabe is going to be a good player in his yeah. own right, not yep. compared to anyone else. And yeah, definitely not anybody background. who's Asia. No, because no, they aren't no. the same background. Stupid. No. Yes, one is exactly. Japanese. Yes, yes. Watanabe yeah. is definitely Japanese. He sounds His like name is samurai. Watanabe. It's the sickest. <laughs> he should. I hope he gets really good and he does like, like super. Day, yeah, you just show up with the uh, with the Karate Kid uh, just, headband. Just size. You know, just spinning him. <laughs> ninja stars. They said like they they uh, and the NBA outlawed. Um, or band, yeah, uh, headbands like the headbands with the, the ninja with, bands, with the ninja bands. So I think he can come back and be like, "This is this is the attire Ooh, of my people," and right? And they'll have to they'll have to open it up again. They would. He can come th- back. Yeah, and then there'll be a whole thing about like other people who are misappropriating his uh, his headband. It's only Watanabe that can wear it. That's true. And they'll be like, "But I I want to pay homage. I yeah. listen to and a lot like, of. I don't care. I watch a lot of Godzilla movies." <laughs> I don't know a lot about the Japanese culture. <laughs> Yo, man, watch some anime, damn it. Uh, That's all you watch, need to know. I did watch all the Godzilla movies, though. So Yeah, they're great. They're great. 
They do have a token Japanese guy in all of the Godzilla movies, don't they? It's the same one. It's, it's that guy from the last one. Yeah, that guy. It's the same one. It's the one where I bought the airline. I yep. It was simpler. He's good. He's, he's fantastic, he's though. Fantastic. He, dude, also, what is he, aging still? Because yeah, he he's... looks exactly the same as he did in, in, in uh, The Last Samurai. And The Last Samurai came out in 2005 or something. I think he looked that way when he was 30, right? He, like, lost his hair. It's like, uh, is it Patrick Alexander? No, Who's Jean-Luc no, Picard? I'm talking about a Japanese dude, dude. I know. I'm talking about a white dude. What's who's Jean-Luc Picard? He he's a he's the guy from uh, what's ex- yeah what's oh oh Patrick Professor, Sir Patrick Sir, Sir Patrick, Patrick Stewart right Stewart, there we go yeah. yeah he was he looked fifty when he was twenty five <laughs> so he still same, looks yeah. the same you're like damn this guy's been the same for fifty years holy shit it's uh it's it's uh it's his uncle because his name is Ken Watanabe. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Patrick Stewart's uncle is, <laughs> is Ken Watanabe. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, Ken Alice, Watanabe. Shout out to Ken Wata- Watanabe. So, yeah, man, illustri- illustrious career. You know, illustrious career indeed. Illustrious indeed, career. Indeed. Hats off, yeah. sir. Ooh, he's gonna be in the movie called Fukushima Fifty. Do you know what that is about, dude? Oh yeah, geez, they're gonna oh, make a Fukushima. Yeah, they're gonna do it. Oh no! It's already out, and it's only worth uh, six point one. Isn't that sad when you when you get one of those? Yeah, man, it should have been it should have been better. I, I still I I still might watch it. Far and I watched a movie that was two stars, bro. Let me tell you about a movie for two stars. It's called <laughs> Jujitsu. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's okay. starring. Guess who? I'm I'm pulling it up right now. Sorry. I need a tax know? break money right now. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! So bad that it almost came back and became good again. But horrible, horrible. No redeeming qualities. <laughs> Tony Jaws in that movie, though. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's and this it's basically all these Greek people who made a movie. Like the directors are Greek, dude. Producers are Greek. Writers are Greek, and they got like this Greek bankrolled money. And I think the whole concept is that. Every seven years, Earth picks a champion, uh-huh. and a alien comes out of a portal, and they fight each other. <laughs> and that's the whole reason we exist, because the aliens came and they spliced our DNA with theirs, so they can wow. have somebody to fight. Every so you you have to know jujitsu, right? I don't know why they called it jujitsu. <laughs> because I he's think- fighting with swords. No, there's no swords. It's it's really it's not because it's in his poster. That's how bad Nicholas, the movie probably is. It's just like no continuity whatsoever. Dude, hey Nicholas Cage, we gotta make a we gotta make a poster. Yeah, just just grab a sword, man. <laughs> it sounds Asian-y. Yeah, it is this white guy, and he's not Nicholas Cage, and he is the chosen one. No. And at one point, like this is fairly early, like you know he's in a military, pl- and this guy comes in fighting everybody. This other guy comes right no. to him. And he says, "We have to go." He doesn't know this guy, but he just goes with him. I was just like. That guy just killed a whole bunch of people to get here. This dude saw yeah. that and was like, yeah, I'll go with you. I was like, yeah, they don't have time to explain why he's going to go with them. <laughs> why would they? So bad. Jiu-jitsu. 2.9. Damn, what is Nicolas Cage doing? The man actually has, like, talent. And, yeah, man. Uh, he was Francis Ford Coppola's nephew. Yeah. You know, your I like uncle. How it, how it, I like how it was because based you, on his current track record, no, he's, not, he's been no. disowned. Every now and then he'll do something as kind of charming, like Ghost Ghost Rider or something. Yeah, man. No, no. Yeah, his uncle is Francis Ford. Did you say that? Yeah, you said it. Okay. Yep, yep. It's okay. You said it too. I give no, you no, credit. It's fine. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just because I'm reading. August <laughs> You're like, no, no, it's fine. Coppola. Coppola. Uh, August Coppola uh, is a comparative literary, uh, literature professor. Some winners over there. Yeah, man. Sophia. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sophia she, Coppola. She, she, Lost in translation. Yeah, she, yeah, she directed some. Uh, yeah, and another one with Emma Watson. Sure, she knows yeah. how to pick them. Uh, it was about those those teens that broke into super rich houses in in um, in oh. uh, Hollywood. Oh, I don't remember what that movie shit. And it's not the like, perks of being a wallflower, is it? No, 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 no. That was uh, good. No, did you watch yeah, that? That was good. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, did. I, I read. Did. The, I read the book. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dedicated. Dedicated to the dedicated you liked to it that, that much? Coming of age, yeah. Coming of age I was, things? I was, wow, yeah. you were really into coming of age Yeah, stories, it was like Twilight, huh? this. Oh, okay, okay, you know? all right, cool. Yeah, Garden State. 
Man, Garden that State was... was so melancholy that by the time I finished watching, I'm like, maybe I also have depression. Yeah. And then I watched it recently. I'm like, you know what? It doesn't hit the same. It was like yeah. I was in a place. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. It's one of those things where like, you know, if you, you listen to Lighthouse, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. you listen to Lighthouse right now, you're like, okay, it's a gem. Wait, but when like, you were listening to it in the high school, you're like, no one understands my pain except these guys. <laughs> standing by a moment. Standing <laughs> by a moment here. With that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the, the way yeah. I sing, you're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, I like how uh, all of those songs become just Creed for you. Yeah, but it's <laughs> a lot of bands just become, that's how I sing. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. It is. Uh, is. Willy Wonderland. No, I'm just looking at Nicolas Cage, what else he's done. Uh, but nothing uh, nothing good. But if you if you say Nicolas Cage's top seven movies, you would say this guy is like borderline Fantastic. legend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like le- all-timer, all-time great action stars if you name his top ten. Or yeah. top seven. Uh, face, ten. Face. It falls when it falls off, yeah, it falls yeah, yeah. so hard that it is. Okay, let's let's see let's see if we can hit it. Okay. Yeah. We face off? Okay, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. The, the Rock. Rock Arguably I, one of the best oh, yeah. action movies of all freaking time, 100%. dude. Sean so Connery good. <laughs> and Nicolas Cage in their right. their peak, I would right. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the being winner. relevant. Yeah. The winner F's the cheerleader. Con Air. Con Air was uh, excellent. Yes, Con Air. Yes, 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 yes. All right, hold on a second. Uh, let's see what else. Vengeance, Arsenal, Army, Eat Dog. Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds, I enjoyed. That was an excellent movie. That yeah, is a good I movie. I thought it was fantastic. The way they made it, they made it. They're like, this is what we're doing, and we do it well. Vinnie Jones is in here, Angelina Jolie for no reason. Mm -hmm. Giovanni Ribisi being the same character. Get your shit together, Giovanni Ribisi. Jesus. Right. Isn't he a, he's a a Scientologist, right? I think think a lot of people were. I don't, I don't know if anybody proudly is. He's still. That's unfortunate. They must have the dirtiest dirt on him. They must have him doing some (laughs) horrible things to birds. Yeah. Okay, uh, leaving Las Vegas. Mm. Apparently, that was good. I didn't. Re- I never watched it though. Um, hold on. A time to kill? No. Ah, no. I'm Man, sorry. You know what? It might be only top five, brother. Jeez. It might only be top five. Yeah. Oh. Drops in front of desk. Farah, right, it's coming. He's coming. Oh, it flew by. Sorry. I'll get a picture Wait. of this thing. It's majestic. Warlord. Warlord was good. Dude, that was yeah, really that was good. Very good movie. That's not even like, oh, it was good for whatever. They're... That was actually a good movie. Uh huh. Oh, no, Bridge. excuse me. L- Lord of War. Lord of War. They call Bridget him Warlord, Warlord, and then he's like, no, you are the Lord of War. Okay, yeah. Matchstick Men and National Treasure. Bam, top five. Matchstick Men, also, Adaptation was a very Ooh, good movie. Yeah, that one's good. Like, I know it was more of an artsy, you know, Ooh, kind weather, of thing. Weatherman was good too. Yeah, that was fun. Definitely doesn't. I mean, now we're just naming good movies that he made. Slightly, slightly. Uh, he was in Kick Ass, apparently. Big Daddy. He was in Kick Ass. Yeah, yeah. Kick Ass was weird. Jim Carrey mess was weird in that. Jim Carrey is weird because he did that movie, and then afterwards he's like, "I don't stand by this. It's too much gun violence." Oh, is that what he said? Yeah, and then the little girl in that, uh, mm-hmm. I forgot her name. She's like, yeah. "This is fake. This is a movie. It's not real gun violence." Like she was just like trying to be the the voice of reason after he came out. She's like, "People should go watch it. We we had a really good time making this." I was like, "Thank you, little girl. Thank you." <laughs> trying to save the press junket, dude. I was like, "Yeah, what's Jim Carrey? How are you gonna make a movie get paid and then and then not know what you were in?" Yeah, you were the one who already made them. We can't be just doing that you when it's time to scripts. promote. Yeah, you can't do it when it's time to promote it. Yeah. Freaking Jim Carrey, Dumb and Dumber Wait. Seven on you. He he uh, he, has, he apparently paints. That's his. Uh, that's his what hobby. else he gonna do? He's gonna do fucking everything, right? Yeah, that's true. If you I have that much mask. downtime, because like it's not like he does anything else. He's not yeah, camel cameoing. He's not writing an album. Mm-hmm. Have you seen a movie uh, called My Tomorrow? No, it's Keanu Reeves has a has a cameo in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's by uh, what's her name, lady uh, comedian Wong, something. Ali Wong. Ali Wong. Ali Wong's movie. Yeah. Yes, it's I've seen freaking that. Freaking amazing! It was such a great movie. For I watched it, and I watched uh, I watched that part. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you I can was say. Like, oh, he's being very yeah. different in this. Yeah, he's so good. What is it called again? Always be my maybe. Always maybe. Yeah. And that dude, uh, other dude, is in there. That other Asian fella from yeah, Su- supremely good uh comedic timing yeah he's, he's apparently he's a good stand-up i've never seen him do stand-up randall park randall, randall park. park yeah yeah yeah. yeah. no he's he's legit he he's very good you yeah, know what good. we might have been able to see him in new york if we just went randomly fucking COVID. dude that place is open new york is opening right 
and, uh, and they're doing a Texas. Dude. Which, by the way, Texas Open, no mask, no anything. They say F everything, and then the numbers kept on going down. So, Yeah, I was looking at that yesterday. Not yeah. Well, they also I also realized this. Texas is over around 60 to 70% of its population vaccinated. Vaccinated, yeah. 60% to 70%. That's insane. That's mm-hmm. And you know the other 30% just don't want to. Yeah. They just <laughs> didn't go to try to get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Well, that does help. Because it death does indeed help. Are... We could, we could, we could, ha- we could be living. We could be going to. I, I don't have to do a, a curbside pickup from Home Depot, dude. My wife, that my, my sister was at a uh, paint gallery opening, taking face to face pictures with people, white women. But they've already. Everybody's had their second dose. Yeah, man. Yeah. People out here, not even doing the number one. How did you feel though? You already got it, right? Yeah, I felt uh, I felt fine. I felt okay. tired, and my arm hurt the whole day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But full uh, arm, just a spot, just a spot. But the wrist as well for a little bit, no big deal. Mm-hmm. Like okay. really, if uh, if I hadn't got the shot and I was feeling that way, I wouldn't have thought a lot about it. So mm. it's fine. Yo, so do you? So so so, so you were born in uh, where were you born? Karachi. Uh, no wait, in actuality or yeah, Karachi. I mean, just tell me the country. <laughs> I was born in Saudi Arabia. I was born in Saudi Arabia. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. But like, uh, did you get those vaccines that all people from third world countries get yeah, that scars totally. their 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 arm? Yeah, but mine, oddly enough, that scar has faded to the point it's not there anymore. Freaking Wolverine out here. My dad still got it. Is all right. Oh yeah, so the vac- yeah. My dad looks like somebody stabbed him. Yeah, with like a blunt you know object. How they do it? <laughs> no, how they you do, know it? How they do it? Okay, I'm not sure, and I don't want to check it because it's Ramadan and I'm tired. But I'm pretty sure it's not even a needle. It's like they put it. It's like a metal thing mm-hmm. that they press against you, and it and it like pressurized shoots jets of it into your skin, oh my into God. your body. Yeah, yeah. It's like a. It's like imagine taking like a like a like an air jet. Yeah. Like high pressure, and it just passes through. That's why it scars you. Like it's like a. Yeah, it seems that spots way. that's hitting you. Yeah, it doesn't it's, seem like it was a clean anything. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Um, Old fashioned uh, vaccine delivery cause scar. Let's see if we can. You're going to find a guy with a hole in his arm, dude. <laughs> You're going to find a guy with one arm. <laughs> uh, it's a smallpox vaccine. Many older people have the scar from that, and you're not old enough to receive the routine smallpox. Stop uh, vaccinating. Okay, so it's a smallpox vaccine. Well, you know, you got to get rid of the smallpox. How to spot a, okay, right after this, it's like, how to spot a cougar at the bar? <laughs> the vaccine that left this guy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, probably accurate, man. Yeah. Also, you know, she's vaccinated, which is good. Right. There we go. She's not an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, like Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan amended what he said. Did he? Okay. Immediately. Yeah. I didn't read either. I'm sorry. I just, yeah. I was like, whatever. I don't know. I'm like matter. that with most things. I'm just like, yeah, it's yeah. all right. He said some and stuff. It was like, people will listen. It, whatever. It's, it's one of those things. It's one of those things where it's like, it's the, the context and what he's talking about is not him saying, don't get vaccinated. He's okay, got he's sure. like, you know, he's on his way. He's going to, he's going to get a vaccine, uh, vaccine as well. Either way. It's been interesting. I hope he doesn't. I'd like that more. I'd like that more if he just doesn't. <laughs> right. The, the other day he was talking about, he was like, so how do you feel? He's like, I feel great. I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. <laughs> I take a pallet worth of vi- uh, vitamins every day. I take a, a juice, like a power booster juice with like all of the herbs and kale and everything every morning. He's like, I feel fantastic. <laughs> and really, you would too if you were t- yeah. doing all of those things. I was taking care of myself like that and eating right and exercising and shit and like laughing sauna a lot. Every just day. We're, yeah, saunaing. just laughing all the time. Yep, and I was white. You know how little stress I would have if I was white in Texas? Oh, oh. Just be like, you know, the gravity of a normal planet. It'd just be like, you know, Superman on Earth, you know, like feel friggin' bulletproof. Right. You can say shit yeah. and carry a gun and you can friggin' say don't get vaccinated, you know, <laughs> like, and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, it would, Wait, be it would be cool nice. to like just, you know, like, hey, It'd if you could be a ruling bit. class, you could be like a white guy yeah. in the middle, you know, at a time where it meant more. It went, it means less today, obviously, possibly yeah, ever obviously. than before. You know. Yeah, they're they're, they're stuck at the as an all time low. It's stock an all time low. low. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, man, you go you go back into the 1960s, 70s. Yeah, that or is like the shit. 
Yeah, or 1997. <laughs> you, know, like, you don't have to go. You have to go all the way back. But yeah, yeah. but uh, you get castles and stuff back then. You know, oh, by man. virtue. That's that beautiful uh, Louis C.K. joke. Is like I, can, you know, how much I, I can go anywhere in time. I can step out of a time capsule, no matter where I go. We're like, we have a table for you right here, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can go back to pick a time. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, it's true. Well, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I could go to ancient Egypt. Right. I'm, I'm, I kind of look it. I, maybe. I don't know what they look like. They might look darker. In that case, you should definitely go. Yeah. They'd be like, wow. Look at How his pale skin? skin, man. Yeah, look, his teeth are all there. Don't you get sand in them? Hmm. How do you know? Wait, dude, imagine if you went over... Because we still don't know how they build the pyramids, right? Dude, that would be the best. Right. You go there, you get to see the, the, the technology. Imagine if it's like anti-gravity. Yep. Imagine if it's Buddha. And you're like, what? <laughs> Buddha? They, what, an, what an alliance. It's amazing. I had no idea, Buddha. You were, you were big here? <laughs> Egypt, Egypt? Is featuring Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> That's as crazy of a thing as this. Anyways, that yeah. would be pretty cool, though, with Buddha. Or you, aliens. You traveled them. You know. Yeah. No. I, if it was aliens, that would be great, too. I'm hoping aliens. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cooler than Buddha. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you went to Mexico. Did you go see any Aztec ruins? No, I slept in. So we were going to go see the... Oh, am I frozen? Uh, you're unfreezing yourself now. Are you good? No you're problem. Good? Go no, we got tickets to go see the Mayan Riviera. And yeah. uh, we then woke up and said, nah, let's just stay in bed. Who wants to wake up at seven? And Farah was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. And we woke up like at nine. We were like, great idea. Like, it was very nice. Because uh, next time, maybe I'll go. Dude, sometimes you just want to relax, dude. Sometimes I'm not wanna... saying I'm not. I'm, no, you it, know what? This this was yeah. bigger than a king side bed, and like it was great. It was like if I had to wanted to see Farah, I would have to like roll over three times. And I was like, I love this. Let's just stay here, dude. Square footage of a bed, it's it's definitely worth the money and the investment. If you have the room space, though, that's the my battle right that now. That also, yeah, that's actually that's actually the limiting factor for me too. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, because I'm like, okay. you don't you don't <laughs> you don't want to walk into your your bedroom. Your bedroom is just bed. That's the thing, man. Because I want a Peloton in my bed, and that's the thing. Like, do I if I get a king size, I can't have this bike in here. That's true. So, but king size, and let's face it, you're using a bed more than you're using a Peloton. You ain't that savage. You know, the problem is like, for likes to put her head on my shoulder. So even if I have a king size bed, I don't have any space, it man. It makes no difference. It Damn. makes no difference. I'm still on May. Oh, so. right. Yeah. Yeah. Bichata. Oh. Yeah. It's tough, bro. It's tough. Yeah, man. Yeah. Do you do uh, the Ross? No, you can't do the Ross. I tried to do the Ross so many times. I think it, I look, I have well, with my offhand, looked it up, put it away <laughs> and then tried to do it. And she's like, no tuck and roll. And she like literally knows I'm trying to, it's so obvious. Yeah. Because she's a, such a great, such Anybody, a big uh, friends be? fan too. Yeah, <laughs> so well, she knows what you're doing. Well, you're doing the Ross. All right, for the people who don't, uh, who don't know, the Ross is, um, uh, a tactic, if you will, for you to be able to allow your lady to fall asleep next to you or holding you, um, but then try to disengage yourself so that you don't have to deal with, you know, the extra body heat because your body is already deliver delivering some heat. Then your lady is going to deliver the heat on on top of you. It's just making you uncomfortable. So yeah, the idea also, was like, just uh, you have like a dead arm, like a dead chest, where somebody's yeah. ten pound head is on there. Yeah, can't fall asleep this way. So what you do is you uh, you grip. Uh, your significant other, you roll them slowly away from you, but you go with them. And then you hug and then you release. And as you release from the hug, you unravel yourself out of the way. But apparently, uh, Seda has been unable to do so. It's called a tuck and roll and your arm is under her. And like, yeah. you can't just, if you can uh, Martian Manhunter your arm, yeah, just it's fine. Chop it. But yeah. it uh, it's under them. And when you pull yeah. it out, there's a lot of friction and they're going to yeah, wake up. that's true. You know what you need to do? You need to put some Vaseline on your arm before you go in like a jiu-jitsu match. Yep. Just limp arm. Just get Vaseline her neck and my arm. <laughs> but she said, just get it there and then it goes. <laughs> and then she's just yeah. sitting there like a slug came out of her head. <laughs> 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 and she's like, what's all this? I'm like, baby, you wouldn't believe what happened. You should shower more, baby. It was gross. I'm going to go That's wash my crazy. hand. <laughs> and get out of there. Oh, man. You know, there's a Japanese or Ch some Asian country built a, a, a mattress mm. and the mattress has got grooves in it. 
Mm -hmm. So you can, so your hand can go into the groove, and then you can pull your hand out. You know, that's not a bad idea because yeah. I sleep in awkward positions, and sometimes I'm like, yeah, if I my hand could just disappear under this mattress, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. wish uh, that you know, wish, right? The 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 thing that sells weird ass stuff on oh Amazon, yeah yeah uh, like on their yeah. wish dot com or whatever. Right. They have a pillow. It's like a it's like a bridge. And you have your hand in there, but it holds the the position, so you gives you a little bit of a place for you to extricate your arm. Yeah, I, I've heard good things about those. I've looked into that. Right. See, yeah. so imagine how many people have had this issue. How many men have had mm -hmm. this issue, where there is an actual product that's made by a generic Chinese company mm -hmm. in China that's being rebranded multiple times? I like that's it. A thing, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, maybe, you can get maybe from AliExpress. Yeah. Literally, you just get a order a pillow, get another man's shoulder and arm pillow. I'm like, oh, perfect! <laughs> Yo, they sell those too. They do. No, no, I'm not even. I'm not even. Yes. Damn it, <laughs> just spray right. a little bit of your cologne because yeah. it, it, it's it's actually it's actually a half a torso. Like it's a it's it's just an arm, a mm. shoulder, and a little bit of torso. You don't even get the other shoulder and the other arm. You don't give. It, it's like one, and you just that's what you can hug. I want the full dude, so my wife can have one side and I can yo, have yo, other. Yo, that's yo, what go I to want. Daniel Rez's place and then just take his jujitsu mannequin. You, you don't think he'd notice? And you know how aggressively he would protect his jujitsu mannequin <laughs> using the jujitsu that he learned. That guy just on does that mannequin reps jujitsu moves on that mannequin all day. It's so interesting. Yeah. He's getting pretty fluid. I've been watching him. Yeah, he's getting good. Yeah, we all have been watching him too. Yeah, that arm yeah. bar, that arm bar slide technique. Okay, all right, cool. It'd be funny if he's like next time I see he's amazing, just from like <laughs> this dummy work, right? Like I just yeah, like visualize. Guy's obsessed. Mm -hmm. like I visualize. But I'm honestly, man, if somebody gets vaccinated twice and they're cool, I'm cool, dude. Come on over. I will choke yeah. you. Can't wait. Can't wait to do Can't normal wait. people stuff. Can't wait. You know, my triangle was was getting really good, right? With your legs? At the, at the at the end, yeah. I was getting yeah. it was getting to a thing where I was like, now I can start trying to make pathways towards this one thing. Is that your go to? Yeah. That was my first go to in, too. In my very in, in my very small arsenal of of stuff. That's my No, that's, my I, that's how it started. I only had like three things, three, four things. I think yeah. that's all you frankly, that's Ronda Rousey only had one thing. Who'd she forget, you know? Uchi Nibar. Dominated people for, for, for like a few years and then That's fell off. But yeah, the, the, the triangle stuff has the most entries into it. That's where you yeah. need to get 10th Planet, man. 10th Planet mm -hmm. and then triangles. That's that's a whole thing. Or Ryan right, Hall. With a rubber, rubber guard. I like oh, Ryan Hall stuff uh, a lot, actually. I like yeah, Ryan Hall stuff. Also, man, he's got to be one of the most scrawniest dudes ever. Any short, like, dude, uh, like, booty shorts will look like, 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 ba uh, basketball shorts on this yeah, dude. Small man, leave him alone. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, what time is it? 8.04. It's time to break. It's almost time to break oh, fast. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us call this. This has been episode 285, people. Thanks for hanging with us. Um, we'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Go. Flow.